Capital City Rescue Mission is dedicated to proclaiming the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ to the homeless and needy of the Capital Region, providing for the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. To help them return to society, maturing in Christ as productive citizens. How does this happen? The mission offers an encouraging word and safe shelter, a place of refuge to souls in despair who have nowhere else to turn. Every night, the dorms and chapel services are filled with weary people looking for hope and a place to lay down their head. Hot, nutritious meals are served to the hungry by volunteers and staff as God touches the hearts of compassionate friends to provide. Community members find bread and needed food to care for their families. You are also offering essential clothing, coats, and shoes to those in great need. Even blankets, towels, and household items all are offered without cost. Staff and volunteers serve the suffering through the free clinic, giving medical attention to those who have no insurance or access to help, offering prayer and professional care. Educational services help people work towards employment or earning their GED. But the rescue mission goes beyond meeting physical needs of a man or woman. The goal is healing and restoration of the individual, emotionally and spiritually. It includes one-on-one -on -one counseling and recovery programs. You know, there are still struggles, there are still things that I find difficult. But what I am sure of is that God is working on me and He speaks through the people here each day. It just affords you a real opportunity to, to learn and to grow in Christ. And I'm sure each day of the motivations of the people that are here. The first time that I came to the Capital City Rescue Mission was because of a drugs and alcohol addiction that led up to eviction from my place. When I got here, the first thing that the city mission did for me was get me back, get me back on point as far as my relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, um, I had a relationship with Jesus Christ, but you know, due to drugs and alcohol, you know, I really didn't care about anybody, not including myself. Not only am, am I 19 months clean, I, I was comfortable here. You know, they made me feel comfortable here. You know, and, and they made me feel like a person because for a long time. I didn't feel, I didn't really care about myself, actually, and I didn't think no one else cared about me. But today I know God cares about me, and I know that He works through people, and I just feel, I mean, I just feel the Spirit of God when I come to this place. Yet there is more. There are always new ways to provide and minister to the needy. A professional butcher shop to receive donated animals has been developed. Now farmers are partners in offering an affordable supply of meat to be prepared for the hungry. With your help, an urgent project has begun. It is the inclusion of a warehouse that is gradually being transformed into supportive housing for program graduates. Now the thing that is very essential that, you know, is hard for me and is hard for a lot of other individuals that come through this program is housing. Housing is very scarce and housing is really needed, especially supportive housing for individuals like myself transitional housing here for myself, being a graduate of the program and being on staff keeps me close, keeps me connected to this place. That it was so freely, things given to me, the hope and walking with Christ and now working here, they trust me. It's paramount in my recovery, my walk with Christ to get into this transitional housing, save some money, budget my money and just learn and just grow. I just pray that they hurry up and finish this building so guys like me would have suitable, constructive housing to be able to move in, you know, that would have the staff there, that would have counseling, that would have that support that we need. It's very important, very important for all of us in this program to get into this transitional housing. The mission ministers to entire families, including children. At the beginning of the school year, partners make it possible to give away over 400 backpacks each filled with essential school supplies to help defray back-to-school expenses. Church partners share the love of Jesus at the backpack party in August. What a blessing to see teens and children coming to minister to their peers. 
I got my first paycheck ever uh, working at a lacrosse camp for uh, little kids up to eight years old. And I decided to donate my first paycheck to the city rescue mission because I've been here and I've worked here and volunteered here before and I've seen all the people in need and I really felt that God was calling me to give this paycheck to the people of the rescue mission and help them out. I volunteered at the city rescue mission before and I saw that there was a need here for a women's and children's program. Every other month we'd have a special night for their mothers and their children to help create special memories. We'd be taking them out to lunch and to places like Hoffman's Playland. We are going to accomplish bringing the mothers and their children closer together with this program. As the mission continues to grow in ministry outreaches, so does the number of people coming for help. Every day, every month, every year, the numbers are simply rising higher and higher, surpassing any previous year in the mission's existence. I think that um, Perry is doing a wonderful job here. His staff is doing a wonderful job. Yeah, I'm just really grateful and thankful for a place like this to come to. God's grace and mercy, I am here working at the mission. And I'm just thankful and I would just, at every opportunity, like to convey how grateful I am. I want to thank you so much for helping the rescue mission this year. We have served more numbers than at any time in our history. We're serving winter numbers in the middle of the summer. The economy is sending many, many homeless and needy people to us. They really need help and you've helped us to give them food, clothing, shelter, medical and gospel services that are so vital to keeping them uh, with basic necessities. But We've also given them recovery services. Many have found new life and now have walked with the Lord this year. But this transitional housing that we're proposing and vocational services are so needed to help them to real permanent change. And this building, this warehouse production is amazing. We have proposed to take this warehouse and make 44 apartments for transitional living. So we can walk with them and help them to go on to independence while serving the Lord. We don't have all the money to finish it. We have money to start it and to get a good ways with it, but we don't have all the money. So we are coveting your prayers and asking you to help us and support this project so that we together can make this work for the homeless and needy to the glory of God. Together, we are providing for the whole person, mind, body, and spirit in Jesus' name.